My name is Daria Fischer. I come from the University of Ljubljana, Slovenia. Um, I started as a student of translation studies. I did a BA at the Faculty of Arts and then I moved on to NLP uh, for my PhD. Uh, my topic was computational lexical semantics. More specifically, I used uh, very different types of uh, multilingual resources to construct a WordNet for Slovene with automatic methods. Um, I could continued uh, within the computational lexical semantics uh, with my postdoc as well. I applied for a national postdoc and got a two-year grant uh, to sort of do a follow-up experiment um, in the field of trying to identify translation equivalents and false friends from non-parallel corpus data. So we used um, comparable corpora uh, to um, sort of compare the um, context of words in two different languages to determine which are the potential translation equivalents and which words that are the same or very similar in two different languages are in fact false friends and not um, uh, don't have the same meaning. I'm currently leading a national basic research project funded by the National Research Agency um, on computer-mediated communication. So we are collecting resources, developing tools and methods to uh, process and analyze uh, noisy texts from the web and social media, so user-generated content, basically. The position of Clarin, uh, the way I perceive it, is um, the provider and the enabler of basic research infrastructure. Without uh, the expertise, um, the know-how, the resources and the tools that Clarin is provided, the commun community will continue to be split and to be wasting a lot of um, precious energy, time and money to redo things that have been done before. And if we um, collect all this uh, experience and the results, we can uh, move on, we can do greater things by spending less time and energy on building resources and basic tools uh, and reusing more of what we already have and then uh, doing more in-depth and um, more important research. I don't see an average Clarin user. I think there are several groups or types of Clarin users and we should pay attention to all of them and target them all and uh, try and find ways how to attract them or how to service uh, all these different types of users. I would identify three different uh, basic uh, groups of users. One would be uh, people with technical background uh, who are interested in development, improvement and reuse of the resources and tools. And then uh, people from the humanities and social sciences who have special, specialized projects in mind and have very specialized needs, but also who have a very different um, skill set and expectations from the infrastructure. I think uh, aspects of involving users within Clarin is one of the uh, key aspects uh, in the current um, position um, that Clarin has because I would believe Clarin uh, so far has done a great job consolidating um, the um, uh, the users in terms of uh, developers of infrastructures and resources and now we have a lot to show and a lot to offer to the community that can really start benefiting from all these efforts. Um, in terms of uh, increasing user involvement um, I would uh, focus on three uh, main um, aspects. Um, the first one is definitely trying to uh, work with um, students who uh, are still uh, looking for topics, approaches, methods. Um, if we show students what Clarin has to offer, I'm sure they are 
still very open to new ideas and new approaches. The other important aspect is trying to uh, show the trainers, so the teachers involved in the education, um, what Clarin has to offer so that they can um, be aware of what is out there for the students to use. And the third aspect uh, would be um, the um, sort of uh, general, broader interested uh, public who might benefit from nice, easy to use tutorials available on the website uh, where we could sh uh, show some um, nice showcases, how to um, easily access some of the more mature technologies and resources and use them for a various number of tasks. Mm. I think it would be very important to establish a certain kind of cooperation with universities, with university programs uh, that offer uh, courses in digital humanities and social sciences. I would like Clarin to be more present at the summer schools relevant for our field, for example the uh, ESLI summer school and the digital humanities summer schools. Um, we also need to uh, be present at all the major conferences uh, in these key areas. Um, and uh, in terms of um, targeting the teachers, the trainers of the students, I think we should um, offer more specialized workshops and hands-on tutorials for them. First, uh, I will introduce myself to all the national coordinators, let them know who I am, um, that they can talk to me, contact me. Um, that's a more practical task that I will do on the first day of my job. And uh, more importantly, I will try to come up with an annual pl action plan, um, come up with a certain priorities um, that I would like to um, implement in the coming year um, and then discuss this with the board. I feel that uh, the cooperation between the board and the national uh, coordinators is crucial for the successful uh, user involvement activities.